Hi guys, welcome to this video about my experience using the Asus Web Storage as a normal backup. I mean, it has a lot of different possibilities or there are a lot of different possibilities how to use the Asus Web Storage. It's super cheap, but it's uh, known to be super slow. So most people have problem with using it for uh, most of the functions, but there are probably some functions which where it's still working working or where it could be working so it has normal uh, sync folders collaboration folders you could use it as a remote drive but and another option is to use it as a backup and i thought okay the backups for me are not so important i have other backups too and it doesn't have to be fast so it's just an additional safety for me and i tried to use it this way and this is how it worked so if you want to use that you have to make an account of course and you have to uh, log in and then click on your personal icon here and then you go to install applications and then just download the computer version for whatever you want to use it windows mac linux whatsoever then you install it and then you open the software that's the thing here i mean after installing it will run here and then you have the settings here yeah i think i have to double click no the thing is actually when i double click it brings me to the folder where the sync drive actually is yeah here there's absolutely nothing uh, it's totally empty at least at the moment the thing is actually we have to go to the settings so that means we have to left click here then we right click here we go to settings and that brings up these options here and the thing is actually when we start with that there is no backup tab on the left side so i think you have to when i remember it correctly you have to go to the info and configure a backup here uh, the thing is it, it it changes a little bit after you set it up it changes a little bit so when i click on setting it, it looks a little bit different now but yeah just click on it and set the directory up for backup which you need so at the moment it looks like this there's nothing to drill down so nothing to look into that the only thing which i can do now is to restore the backup data to this computer okay um actually i'm running this backup since about three days so i thought yeah after the three days having it running all the time in the background yeah it should have achieved uh, some results in the meantime of course there are about 700 gigabytes of data which i want to back up uh, yeah it's pretty clear that it was not finished but i wanted to check how much we have yeah by the way of course also we have this account info here and it says space used zero gigabytes yeah so that makes me think that it has no, uh, done nothing yeah i have seen that the asus uh, sync software does something in the back and we don't see that so i'm not sure how accurate this zero percent is so i thought yeah let's click on restore and see what it has backed up and what we can restore but the only thing which happens no, no matter how long you keep this running here it will continue to say login failed and nothing will happen and when you click on ok it will close that so yeah it's simply not possible to restore anything so it makes me believe that nothing was backed up but we do not only have information in the info we have after setting it up we have this backup tab here and we can click on that and also here there's a backup status and it says zero percent and that's the thing which i want to back up it is the d documents youtube i mean it's not uh, so important for me to have it immediately backed up but it would be nice to have some kind of backup here but it is after three days 
it is exactly on 0%. So it looks like it hasn't done anything. So here you see the thing and that there's nothing we can do apart from that. We can click on more, but there is actually not not much to do. So uh, I mean, we can either choose continuous backup or set uh, own schedule, but I'm on continuous. So it should actually backup and yeah i have these notices here so i don't see anything how i could start that on the status here it sometimes says finished sync and finish backup sometimes it brings another icon and it says that it's doing something but it actually does nothing so this is just my experience and i haven't found anything i mean when we go to this icon here uh, it says finished sync and we double click here yeah that brings us to the directory which we have specified for the aces sync drive or drive sync or whatsoever so it's being synced with the online space and also here there's absolutely nothing we can just click back and forth nothing is happening also we can go to the icon and say uh, or ask to launch the ASUS web store website and that brings it, us again to the same page and there is nothing here so no matter where you click on your personal profile icon or anything here on the left side all these menus you can't find or at least I haven't been able to find anything about my uh, backup process or progress or anything like that so i haven't found anything just a few things which i have found they all say zero percent and definitely no progress there is one more small thing which you can do when you right click on that yeah when you click or yeah when you hover on support there are more options here we can click on get log file and it opens a directory where you have a couple of files and you can see what has been updated just recently yes yeah, some of the logs haven't been updated but some are updated and i've been trying to find some information about the directories which i try to back up and it's a little bit hard to find the only log where i have found something that's the aws service log and here you can see whatever you have specified as a backup it seems to try to keep track of this directory so whenever i create a new folder or something like that then it's doing some update here and obviously it's recognizing that i'm doing something but it, it doesn't back up anything i mean there are some information which i do not understand i mean it says force backup or sync scan and it has also some errors yeah here it says cannot load counter name data because an invalid index was read from the registry uh, maybe that's causing the error. I have really no clue. I just see there is absolutely no progress in this backup. It seems to really scan this directory every now and then or almost instantly when I do something. But it's just uh, logging this information here and it's not doing anything. I mean, the good thing is while having this in my background running, it hasn't consumed almost any CPU or any space or I think bandwidth or so. So it represents actually the thing what it has done like nothing. So it's just idle in the background more or less. It doesn't really bother the system, but it doesn't help. I mean, I could definitely uh, now uh, close or disable or uninstall uh, there's no reason to keep it here and to pay this nine dollars or whatever i pay uh, per year i mean it's not much but still wasted money because it's not doing anything so yeah it would be really interesting to hear from you what's your experience if you're using the aces web storage as a backup too what's your experience what does it what has it done for you do you have at least some kind of progress or 
uh, do you have the same thing does it that it uh, keeps saying zero percent even after weeks and months or maybe even years it would be really interesting to learn from you what your experience and yeah that's it for now i still hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this update if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time